presenting Heat Up 3. This powerhouse rompler boasts over 800 multi-sampled instruments, from soaring synths to punchy basses, complex sequences to retro keys and everything in between. The presets cover every genre you can think of, with many options for shaping the sound, adding effects and modulation. Heat Up 3 has an intuitive workflow for all main parameters on the front panel, or you can dive deeper for further manipulation. Before I get into the details, here are a few of the presets. Running in all major plugin formats for Mac and PC, Heat Up 3 features hundreds of sounds, all housed within a fully resizable and reskinnable HD interface. Expression, ADSR, LFOs, filter, effects, atmosphere, and release sample layers. There are even built in ARP and step sequences for creating your own riffs. This is an incredibly capable engine with inspiring sounds. So let's dive in. Here's the interface with the main controls accessible right on the front panel. There's a global filter with ADSR controls, panning, drive, and regular ADSR. This panel also contains quick access reverb, delay, and chorus controls. Click into the various tabs here to access the scope, the powerful sequencer, preset browser, effects rack, and settings. Below that, the key display, expression page, ADSR envelopes and assignments. There are two LFOs with tempo syncing and assignments, and finally an extra panel where you can add in atmosphere and release sample layers. More on those later. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of features within HeatUp 3. In this video, I'll briefly show you how the various parameters affect the output and play through some of the sounds. Firstly, for those who like to customize the look of their plugins, HeatUp 3 is perfect. The HD interface can be resized by just dragging the bottom right corner. Go into the settings menu to access the different skins. And you can choose pretty much whichever colors you like within this tab. Presets are accessed just here in the browser. They're categorized into many different types with over 850 available. Everything from synth brass to orchestral hits, realistic strings to gorgeous pads. The ARP and sequence presets show what the onboard sequencer is capable of. You can get to the 32 step sequencer controls here and apply new sequence presets to any sound. Draw in the piano roll just like you would in your door.
and adjust speed, step number, and other parameters. One quick tip, if you hover your mouse over any control, you'll get some pop-up help text to explain what it does. More layers of samples can be added to the core sounds. Just head here to the Sample tab. You'll find atmosphere sounds to overlay, including nature sounds, tape hiss, and vinyl crackle. My favourite thing to do is add in a sound from the sound effects menu, then set it to follow pitch. You can also add release samples, useful for something like a piano where you want a realistic key release noise. For the atmosphere and releases, you can drag and drop to load in your own samples too. This preset already comes with the reverb, delay and chorus turned on. All fully adjustable from the front panel. Choose between four categories of reverb with absolutely loads of different convolution spaces. Other effects are available here and you can reorder them just by dragging. Many classic effects are featured alongside a super useful transcate, great for turning synths into rhythmic motifs with adjustable smoothness, steps and speed. A quick look at some features of the other panels. In the expression section, you can configure up to four expression curves, each with a source and destination. With this particular sound, key velocity affects the filter cutoff, aftertouch is assigned to tremolo depth, and the mod wheel to chorus mix, panning depth, and distortion amount. These assignments are easy to add to or change. For example, adding filter cutoff to the mod wheel. It's pretty much the same technique for assigning the two ADSR envelopes and two LFOs. In the settings menu, you can engage MPE mode, a new MIDI standard that HeatUp 3 fully supports. This adds even more control options in the expression panel for polyphonic playing with dedicated hardware. The controls here affect the global playback. For example, if I want to make this polyphonic flute sound into a gliding R&B lead, I'll switch it to mono and increase the portamento dial. To close out, here are a few more of Heat Up 3's signature sounds. So as you can see, Heat Up 3 is a whole lot more than just a run-of-the-mill rompler, and I've only just scratched the surface. A wide range of instruments, detailed editing functions, complex routing, 
flexible sequencer, professional effects and expression assignments, these make Heat Up 3 a fantastic way to shape sounds and create unique instruments. As you've heard, the hundreds of presets make great jumping off points, so go and explore. For more information, head to WA Production, and thanks for watching.